The Merge Workbook feature will merge data from all workbooks into one, but the workbook has to be shared first and can only merge with copies of the original shared workbook. So for example, here's my workbook, and I want to be able to make copies of it to send it off to others. They can go ahead and make their changes to it, not structurally, because if they start moving the cells around and putting the labels over here, Excel's going to have a fit. So just tell them to make changes to the data, not the structure. In any case, after I send copies off to everybody of the original workbook after I shared it first, then they go ahead and they make any changes. They send it back to me. Then I can go ahead and merge all those different workbooks or copies of the original shared workbook back into the original shared. And then I can go ahead and accept or reject those changes. Sounds fun. Woohoo. Let's go ahead and do it. So to go ahead and share this workbook, as you recall in an earlier training video for sharing, come up here and click on the Review tab. Go to the Changes group. Click on Share Workbook and check Allow Changes by More Than One User at the same time. This also allows workbook merging, and that's what we're going on right now. So go ahead and click OK. Say OK. Then up in the title bar, it now says it's being shared. Then I can go ahead and save copies of this. So when I click on Save As, so there's my original right there. I can come down here and say this is going to be the first workbook, and it's going to be on HR for Human Resources. We'll send it to them. Click Save. And then I'll go ahead and click Save As again. And this can be number two for AC for accounting. Click Save again. And then I've got, well, the original and then two copies of it. And it's for human resources, accounting. I can do customer service, development. Well, you get the idea. Let's go ahead and close out of this. So you can see on the desktop, here's my original shared workbook. And here are the two copies of it. So after they get their copies, after I send it off to HR, and they double click to open it up. And they go, OK, wait a second. Let's see, Max, that's his extension. Let's go ahead and 1111. That's his extension. Hit Enter. Click Save. Close out. Then Accounting opens up their copy of the merged workbook that I sent off to them. Double click. And they go, oh, you know what? Max isn't in Human Resources. He's in Accounting. So after you type in the first letter, it pulls in the rest to help you out. Yeah, it's Accounting. So just go ahead and hit Enter to accept it. Click Save. Close out. And then after they're done with that, they email them back to me. So I can go ahead and open up the original workbook, double click. And then I need to add the Compare and Merge Workbook feature to the Quick Access Toolbar to be able to pull those two workbooks in to compare and merge into this workbook. So come up here and right click anywhere on the Quick Access Toolbar and go down to Customize the Quick Access Toolbar. Change it from Popular Commands to All Commands. And let's go ahead and scroll down and find Compare and Merge. And so after the numbers, it'll go alphabetically A's down to the Z's. So click and drag. There we go. Compare and Merge Workbook. Double click to add it over to the right. You got the green orb. Go ahead and click OK. There's the green orb. Click on it. Opens up the select files to merge into the current workbook. And it's number one. Hold down the control key and select number two and click okie dokie. Now before I click OK, it says Human Resources for Max Klinger, extension 2192. After I click OK, it updates it with the changes. Wasn't that fun? Well, as you recall in other training videos, when you're tracking changes and you want to be able to accept or reject those changes because, I mean, how am I going to know if this is what I want if it's a huge database? And I'm like, well, what changes do they make? You can come up here, click on the Review tab, go to the Changes group, click on Track Changes, and go down to Accept Reject Changes. And we want to cover those that haven't been reviewed yet, so we'll click OK and it takes us to the first one and you can see that I made the change and if it was on somebody else's computer like Susie's or whoever you send it off to it'll have their name that's why it's really important as I discussed many times in earlier training videos that you personalize your copy of Microsoft Office by going backstage from file down to options the info tab selected by default so go down to personalize your copy of Microsoft Office and type in your name that's the name that's going to be pulled over after you save your changes, like if it was Carrie, when she saves it and emails it to me, it's going to show her name here so I can go, oh, it's Carrie who made the change here. In any case, it's me because I did all the changes. As you saw, I made the changes on the same computer, so it's going to have my name. In any case, I changed this LD2 from 2912 to 1111. Do you want to accept it, reject it? We'll accept it. And then it goes to the next change. And it says it went from human resources to accounting. Well, good monkeys. We have nobody in human resources. I'll have to reject that. So it goes to human resources. Thanks for watching.
Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.